up and down hills, over boulders, through mud and past gorse. Doesn't appear like the most appealing place to go for a bike ride. But for 14-year-old national mountain biking champ Anton Cooper, the more of it he can get, the better. After taking up the sport only a few years ago, Anton's competitive nature and talent was apparent from the get-go. My dad started getting me, he sort of got me into mountain biking and we used to ride up and down the road and through like the forest down the end of the road. And uh, then one day, or well, he took me up to this uh, mountain called like Mount Grey, and we used to ride up there often. And uh, I beat him up there, and it was sort of like well, I started enjoying it because you know I bit bit my dad. And um, so yeah, I just got hooked after that. And what seems to have become a trend in Anton's mountain biking career, he took on the older, bigger guys and won right from the start. My first ever race was a it's a Huckster race, it's which is Canterbury like secondary schools mountain bike club. And um, that was held at Hallsville Quarry. So yeah, I was I was sort of not supposed to be racing because I was too young, but um, I raced year seven and eight and I was year six. So but I ended up winning by five minutes. So yeah, sort of really enjoyed enjoyed that experience. So yeah. Now in year 10 at Christchurch Boys High, Anton has just wrapped up a dream season, peddling his way to the winners' podium on multiple occasions. I had a really good season. I first South Island Cup I got fifth and elite out of everyone and uh, elite men and all so and I was first under 17 and I beat all the under 19 so yeah that was good and um, I won South Island Cup for under 19 and also uh, under 17 and um, I also at national champs I had the fastest average lap time out of everyone and won under 17 so yeah Real good season. Lining up against some of New Zealand's senior mountain bikers, I questioned this pocket dynamo if he ever feels intimidated. Well, I don't feel, it feels good when you beat them because some, some of them look at you on the start line and go, sure, little boy, you should be racing. But uh, after you, well, everyone sort of knows who I am now in New Zealand, so it's all right when I turn up on the start line with the elite men. Yeah. And it's not surprising they've been taking note of him after he scored the fastest overall lap time at the National Champs, which featured many of New Zealand's elite mountain bikers, an achievement Anton says stemmed from some hard work. During the late tra actual race season, I train about five days a week, and I normally ride up here on the Port Hills, so yeah. That's good. Out on a training ride just off the summit road in the Port Hills and taking on boulders as big as his wheels and terrain more suitable for a goat, I questioned Anton if he ever gets scared. Oh, I just enjoy it. You practice and you get better and you ride all these tracks a lot so it's uh, you get used to riding each section and yeah, it starts becoming not fun, fun not scary. So. <laughs> But aside from the training, Anton can list plenty of other reasons for why he enjoys the sport so much. I enjoy like meeting new people and all the competition and yeah, like just new races, new courses, riding up, up some sweet single track and also yeah. And although he is qualified for the under-19 World Mountain Biking Champs this year, Anton's age means he isn't eligible to compete for a few years yet. But he's got his sights firmly set on the date he can. I want to go to World Champs in 2011, that's the first year I'm eligible. And also Olympics, I want to go race Olympics. So. <laughs> no doubt a dream that will become a reality if Anton's career continues to rise in the fashion it has.